A city doesn't thrive unless it has people who have a vision for the city, uh, have the determination to make that city succeed, and the ability to execute and carry out that vision. Uh, and that's David. David Jenkins leads in such a powerful but quiet way. He's honest, he's realistic, and yet he sets a very high bar for excellence. Well, it's an honor to be David Jenkins' pastor at First Pres because uh, he's an inspiration. He's a faithful worshiper, he's an elder of our church, and he's there Sunday by Sunday. Uh, he's really motivated by his faith. He's constantly responding to need and in ways that, um, that are just overwhelmingly generous. I think David elevates the community not just with his heart for philanthropic giving, but also his knowledge of economic development. Dave Jenkins and his family understand the importance of having national governing bodies and the U.S. Olympic Committee in Colorado Springs. They've been incredibly supportive of some of our individual NGBs as they try to look for ways to be able to stay in the community. So we're incredibly grateful. There is no question that David Jenkins is not one of the leading champions for the United States Olympic Museum in our community. He has not only been a champion in terms of personal philanthropy, but endorsement to other people of that philanthropy. There are so many advances that David Jenkins has been a part of as his pastor. I'm privileged to see the ways that David and Susan Jenkins respond openly and quickly to people in great need. Discover Goodwill served over 80,000 people last year. We placed 9,731 people into employment. That could not happen without people like David and Susie who have been so generous. My life before Discover Goodwill was not good at all. After Discover Goodwill hired and gave me a chance to change my life, I received multiple promotions and am now a retail center manager. Today, I'm in a great place thanks to the caring and generosity of Discover Goodwill supporters like David and Susie Jenkins. And you know, it isn't just about the team of David and Susie, it's also about the family. They raised their children and grandchildren in a culture of giving. I would give the example of early belief in a university that was trying to grow, a university where he did not attend, where his children did not attend, and yet seeing UCCS as important to invest in on behalf of our community. And I think that's what he has done so well, and not just with UCCS, but with many other projects in the community. I, as the mayor, would identify David Jenkins and Norwood uh, as a huge force in driving this city forward. There's no question about it. For me, David stands in the line of the, the likes of William Palmer and Spencer Penrose. You know, there are men who build enterprises for their own benefit, and there are leaders who build cities for the benefit of all those around them. And David is like that. He's more than a businessman. He's a city builder. David, on behalf of myself and really all the citizens of Colorado Springs, I want to congratulate you on winning the Russell Tutt Award. David, congratulations on this award. You work hard at everything that the Lord puts in front of you. Your devotion to your family and your devotion to this city are absolutely inspiring. Congratulations, David. This is a well, well-deserved honor. And congratulations to Susie and all of your family as well.